Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sonia Hernandez, Cal student here at NJCU. My field of interest is physics, specifically astrophysics, atmospheric physics. And today I want to enlighten every one of you a little bit of ancient viruses and the future of humanity. New research have found and shown significant traces of evidence that suggest ancient viruses are responsible for the level of human consciousness that we are not, that are responsible for our memory and our reasoning. The new evidence detect vital genetic codes have been traced back to four-limbed animals from over 400 and million years ago. Pieces of these viral genetic codes still live in our brain, which becomes our genetic makeup. Scientists believe that the viruses were reproduced during evolution to arc genes, which can be how nerves transmit information, to think and reason with one neuron to another. Viruses store the genetic codes in the RNA rather than the DNA. ARC packages its codes in the RNA and it encapsulates it like a virus-like shell to preserve it. Scientists yet are not known or sure what messages are actually being transmitted. However, synapses will stop functioning correctly and die out without it. So it becomes vital for our function overall. Our genes are essentials for long-term memories formation of the human brain. Neurological disorders have been linked to mutations in these genes, including autism, Alzheimer's, schizophrenia, common diseases and illness and mental conditions that we all are very well familiar of or known of or heard of. These viruses sometimes can copy codes that becomes of our genome from 40 to 80%, which it comes from these ancient viruses. If ancient viruses can exist for over 400 million years, then these same viruses can create a potential threat to the human race and all of our natural resources. We want to address the conditions of these climate changes that are releasing deadly viruses in our atmosphere, in our land, in our water resources that have been actually dormant and trapped in ice, which many are unknown to the human race. Soils that have been frozen for thousands of years, releasing ancient viruses and bacteria, is what we are afraid of right now. They have never been so exposed to us. We have no knowledge whatsoever what they're capable of. If they are responsible for our genetic makeup, for up to 80% of our human function, then these viruses that can surface, these bacteria that can surface, can create us, evolve us, or ultimately destroy us. Permafrost is what we want to address. This is where our fear comes in. There are good preservers for microbes. Anthrax is an example. It killed a reindeer over 75 years ago and surfaced across from the carcass and killed many. Water exposure, soils, land, grass, everything's been contaminated by these microbes, these viruses from the, per the permafrost. The fear of the melting permafrost layers are releasing older ancient viruses that is a direct danger because they have the capability of surviving for millions of years, even in our brains. These microbes have been frozen since the Pleistocene period, which if you're not familiar, it will be the period of the mammoth and are possibly responsible for certain extinction, extinctions. These melting ice could open a Pandora box because they are being revived. Deadly diseases that can be expensive and difficult to cure, and ancient viruses can and have been able to destroy mankind. We are all known of plagues, black plagues, smallpox, anthrax, all viruses that we are familiar with. These all come from the permafrost. These are all viruses that create epidemics, and we have a very delayed response of being able to react and protect ourselves. Our limitations for not having the resources or funding in science is a potential issue. We need to be able to further develop the field of science in all aspects, not just biology, not just chemistry, but climatology, atmospheric physics, oceanography. They're all related. They're all vital to our survival. We need to be able to preserve and further investigate the actual conditions that we're facing and not be naive to it. 
Ignorance behind global warming is hurting our environment. Our health and our resources are being put in jeopardy. Possible temporary solutions that can help the crisis is preservation. We need to start preserving our natural resources and aid the critical conditions we live in. We cannot keep building and digging and experimenting because we can't afford to. Exposing our soils or contaminating our water resources is an issue. We hear it all the time. We see it on the news, we see it on the media. We should not wait to react, we should not wait to respond. We need to put more, put more seriousness and urgency in what's going on in our environment. Whether you're interested in it or just curious is important because it could ultimately wipe us out. We cannot humanly function without it. What will happen if these viruses were to take a turn and pose another threat? Can we afford to pose another threat with these viruses like smallpox or malaria or anthrax? Look at the catastrophe that it produced. What will happen if there's something more? 400 million years is a long time to preserve these microbes. These microbes are surfacing and we cannot do anything about it. NASA is reviving these viruses and bacteria to see what potential threat they pose, if they even pose a threat. Our function, our genetics, everything depends on this. These are the conditions in the permafrost and how they're melting. And it's, rep it's melting at a rapid pace. These are the microbes and the bacteria that are being found underneath these layers of ice. Our conditions of the climate and our atmospheric conditions are at a critical state for this issue today. This is smallpox. This was found underneath this permafrost a couple of hundred years ago. Once it resurfaced and they were able to revive it, these are epidemics that are goes across the entire world. We need to take these conditions seriously and we need to put more funding and more attention in different aspects of science because if not, it will be too late. Thank you.